Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? So, we have this field right here, and I have actually gone and bought a few more fields. You can see now that I own all of those. I've got the two down there that we bought yesterday. I've bought the rest of these up through here, and I'm actually thinking that I might buy those two there and those. Let's just go and see what the crops are. If I was to buy that lot round through there, um, that would sort of give us, that would be quite a big farm. So we'd still have the same premise that I originally said where it was kind of a farm management exercise rather than just um, the standard farming like that we've been doing. But it's going to be on a bigger scale now, isn't it? So um, I think that could still work out. Now we have this field of potatoes. We're going to harvest this field of potatoes. I now also have a field over here and a field up here and a field over here, which is actually just up there somewhere. Um, but I'm not going to harvest the rest of the potatoes. We're just going to harvest, and I'm thinking it's going to be this one here, mainly because this one's actually a bit more difficult to get to. Um, it's compact. It's not got long runs on it, so it could be interesting. It'd be like the final small-scale thing that we do, and I've got the equipment installed um not quite ready to use yet uh we have the lexian ready to go and i've also got this one because i got this mod and i thought it'd be perfect with this map and then i completely forgot about it so we're gonna try this one i've got a small upgrade on it this seems brilliant <laughs> oh yes i love the little gems that you find unfortunately there are no color options available on this one even though the picture clearly shows on this uh bike that it's in blue if you go to it there is no color option so all we can do is you've got design there and then you've got a uh, design saga and that's a big one. actually i haven't bought the small one so let's buy that one as well and just see what that one is uh, see if there's a difference between the two maybe there's ah, i see right so you've got this one here so we're just going to take a little bit of a spin around on this just to try it out and tomorrow the potatoes should be ready to harvest so we're going to start on that and then we will worry about actually i might just put the class lexian combining um tomorrow morning whilst we get started on the potatoes um and i'm gonna i've got two separate implements that we're going to be using for potatoes one of which i already showed you when i asked you if you wanted me to do potatoes in the first place this one's got a nice speed on it i like this little bike this thing is awesome. Oops, great demand at spinnery for wool. Right, let's spin this one round and head on back and we'll get the other one and try that one out as well. This is brilliant. Why we didn't use these before, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm loving this. And this is actually, I believe you get a lot of bikes like this in South America as well. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Please do. I know a lot of you do actually correct me when I'm wrong and I do actually really appreciate that. I like the fact that you frequently correct me whenever I get something wrong. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was <laughs> just the way his head went right into the road when I did that. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely brilliant. Right, let's. <laughs> I can't believe it did that. <laughs> right, let's try this next one. Sounds much the same. Seems a little bit slower to get going, um, but generally speaking, it's still a good bike. I like this. Um, let's let's not try to, to flip it completely. Um, I like that it's got this black smoke. Oh, this black smoke coming out of it. Um, it kind of sticks the road. Yeah, do we have these types of bikes in South America? That's something that I want to know. Um, let me know in the comment section. And right, we 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 need to go carefully over the pavements. We know that now. We know that we have learned through hard experience landing on our bonnet. There we go. It's brilliant. <laughs> Oops. It, it does stick to the road very well, doesn't it? That is absolutely awesome. I love these bikes. I can't believe I didn't actually use them previously. I really apologize for that. I should have been using these bikes more. We're going to drive this one back to the farm. We'll leave the orange one where he is for now. Um... But we're going to be doing a lot more riding around on these bikes, especially considering the price. They are dirt cheap at like 400 euros each. Oh, this one, I think it's 400 and the other one was 600 euros. It's 200 increase uh, if you get the, the, the slight upgrade on it. Whoops. And over we go. Right. Um, there's, there's no coming back from that, is there? No. No, there's, there's, there's no coming back from that. Um, 
I can't move it either. Unfortunately, you can't like um, use the pick up anything to do it. So let's just see. Oh, yes, we can. We can actually reset it. And it's that one there. So if I reset that one, you should reset back to the farm. And there we go. We have. So we, we've rescued our bike, even though we managed to flip the thing upside down, which is probably not the best way to treat a brand new bike. And we just need to very quickly i'll just deal with this grass in here and as soon as i've done that i will skip the night i will see you in the morning we're going to start doing a little bit of combining and we're also going to start on our potato harvest it should be right because we're on the fourth day of autumn so the fifth day of autumn is actually transition two for autumn and it's transition two when the potatoes become ripe and ready to harvest so um, we should be ready to do that. So anyway, I will see you in the morning after I have done the morning chores with the cows. There we go. Night has been and gone. I have fed the cows a little bit more. I've put grass in for them. And I'm just... Ah, you've got to, you've got to press and hold this time to be able to open this one. And which way does it go? It opens that way. Um, I'm, so I'm used to the gates on Dowland Farm. Those you literally just press and then you're done. These you've got to press and hold to be able to, un to, be able to unlatch them. And I'm driving in and I know that this isn't particularly realistic, but I'm doing it anyway because I want to hurry up and get things done. So I'm coming in and spinning round so that I can unload the water here and then we can get going. And I didn't ask you my weekly question. I was supposed to ask you the weekly question and I didn't ask you and I apologise so I will ask you now. I'm going to get a couple of tractors. We're going to get some big tractors. We're going to upgrade things obviously because of all our cash that we now have. So do you want me to get the Magnum CVX? Do you want me to get the Valtra S series? Do you want me to get the New Holland T8? Do you want me to get the Deutz Far Series 9? Or do you want me to get the JCB Fast Track 8000? I will push whatever tractors you ask me to get. I will put their engines right up to maximum upgrade um so that uh we, we can sort of really get everything that we can out of them and i will take the two most popular votes on this particular one so whichever ones you want make sure you do have your say because uh this is your one and only chance we just start unloading that so that will be water into the cows there we go and switch those lights off switch that uh engine there right and we are at nine o'clock so we can slow that down to one time speed for now what we're going to do for a minute is we're going to flick through to our new combine which is this one right here and we're going to need a new header so we're going to get the 10 meter header which is the original one that i said and we'll upgrade it later on if that's what people want me to do i didn't want to go to that one i want to go to this one so yeah which of those five tractors do you want i will take the top two um just go back to them I, I got distracted i'm so easily distracted with everything i really am um fast track 8000 the deutz far series 9 the new holland t8 the valtra s series and the case magnum cvx so which one do you want it's your vote it's your game head in the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner i have deliberately not included the faint or the Massey Ferguson, or a John Deere, because those would skew the vote. And I kind of want to keep those for another time. I don't know when I'm going to use John Deere, but I will use John Deere at some point. Um, I'm just not going to use it yet, and I certainly don't want to be using it all the time. I know it's really uh, widely requested, but so are several others. The, va the, the Fent is requested all the time as well. Um, so I'm sort of keeping some of them out of it in order to try to make things a little bit even more evenly so we do we have a rake knife or do we have a stalk splitter um we're not actually doing any oilseed rape at the moment and for those of you from the states i did see this discussion come up in a couple of places um canola is I, I know that it's called canola in the us i'm not actually aware of it being called canola anywhere else and um, maybe it is maybe it is, i'm not sure um, I've only ever known it as oilseed rape and some people, it, it, this discussion was brought up that you can't call it rapeseed because that's offensive um, and you can't say words like that. In actual fact, um, if you look on the packaging in the UK on vegetable oil, the main ingredient is written down as rapeseed. It's used everywhere. It's not 
an offensive term. It's not intended as an offensive term. So if you see rape coming up, it's meaning canola and it's not meaning anything else. So I just thought I would clarify that because there has been a little bit of confusion in places and I don't really want to uh, contribute to confusion. So what I'm going to do, I think, is we're going to get our massive new great big combine and we're going to come out here and I think we'll try to start by combining field 54. That one is, well, that actually is um, oilseed rape in those. It's 52 and 54 is oilseed rape as well as field 63. So we could go and do a, a few fields. So we are going to want rape knives on our um, header. So if we go here and we don't want the stalk splitter, we want the rape knives. That is the knives that uh, sit on the sides. We don't want uh, attaches. What are attaches? I've no idea what any of those mean. Um different designs and stuff design long stalk or short stalk splitter that this i think that is those along there uh, do you want them long or short so we'll go for whatever the standard and one laser pilot as well we will buy that one and if we want to upgrade later then we will we'll come back in we'll sell and we'll rebuy so if we come out of there now we want to go to the header trailers and we need the uh, which one is it that we want? We want the, the, the biggest one, don't we? Which is going to... No, it's not the biggest one. It's the second biggest one. It's that one. The Laguan Quattro. And it actually says which one it's for. The 35 is for the 1050. So that's the one that we want. Main color. We want our John Deere green. Because I said that I would do everything in John Deere green if I could. And I think it's that yellow there, isn't it? Uh, design 25 or 40. I'm not sure that it makes any difference, does it? Uh... Well, I have absolutely no idea if that makes any difference or not. I'm guessing it's uh, what's written on the back, but it's going on the combine rather than anything else. So we'll, we'll buy that one. There we go. Back out of there. Right, so we've got these two here. So there is our John Deere colours, even though it's going to be for a class Lexian. Um, we'll start this one up. So we want to get this going, and then we're going to go and we're going to start doing the potatoes. Just the one field of potatoes. We're not doing any more than that. This is going to get started on here. I'm not sure after this week how much more of the crops that are currently in that we're actually going to do and how much we're just going to plough up. And we'll sort of say that we... Um, it's, it's not that we ploughed them up. We're, we're not... Um, the, the way that I figure that we'll do it is that we won't say that we've ploughed them up. We'll say that what we've done... Why isn't it hitching on? It's being a bit peculiar. I'm not sure why it was doing that, but it shouldn't have been. Um, anyway, um, yeah, we're, we're not going to say, oh, I've got a bike, <laughs> I've got a bike in the way there. Let me go and move that one. Um, we, we won't be ploughing the crop in. What we'll say is that the owners of the fields have harvested their own fields, sort of, um, obviously they've grown everything and done all the rest of it. So yeah, they harvest the fields one final time and, um, that's kind of the story behind it. So we don't sort of say that we're letting it go. Um, to waste in the fields, but we'd also don't have to spend ages worrying about getting the last of the crop done before we finish. Um, so let's just get this one onto this trailer. And I always thought you had to put it in the middle, but I found that hitching it on the back of the combine means that you do have to sort of push it right over quite a long way towards this end. Now, if I could just bring that round a little bit, I think that's fairly well lined up. Maybe a little bit more there. There we go. One thing I absolutely detest about this game is the way that you've got to attach these, the, do the header trailers, right? Lower it down like that and undo and it just kind of drops it and that's about it. I don't like that at all. I've never liked that. It's, it's, it seems just a wrong way of doing it. I, I, and yeah, it doesn't sit well with me, I've got to be honest. So let's just back up here and get that as close as we can because we've still got to get out and hitch it on. So we come back through and drop the pin in there. There we go. And when I used to drive a combine, we never did this. Never once. And in actual fact, we actually took the hitch off the back of the combine. Um, because when you were crossing rows of straw on the ground, it could ball stuff up um, underneath the combine. And you didn't really want it being balled up like that and dragged along by the combine if you were crossing other rows. So... Yeah, we took the hitches off, and they were always pulled around by a pickup or something like that that worked on the farm as well. And never, ever did it like this. Ever. Not once. Uh, right, so our first field, well, well, we'll do this one over here as our first field, and then we can start on down to the next one. So 
Oop, it would help if I didn't drive into the trees. Some of these low-hanging branches are a little bit too low-hanging. And that's going to be one issue that we will have with our farm now, is that low-hanging branches are going to be a real pain. An absolute real pain. They really, they really are. Uh, right, so we can bring that one over there like that. I think that's actually going to be a good place to stop. So let me skip out a second and unhitch that one right there. And I will spin round. Let's turn those beacons off. We don't actually need them. I know that we are sort of crossing the road and various other bits. Now what's happened? I'm stuck. There's, a, there's an invisible wall. There's something that... What's going on here? There's an invisible wall here somewhere, and I'm not quite sure where it is. It's something, something stopping the combine from being able to move. Uh, let's try going down this way. Right. There's something there that is stopping my combine from being able to move properly, which is not very helpful. And I'm hoping if I can bring that up there... Uh... Right, well, I've at least managed to get that on, even if it's not particularly pretty. So let's lift that up. There we go. And I want to... No, oh, I want to put that one on. So that is now fastened on properly. I, I'm going to have to drive into the crop a little bit. You do have to do that when you're actually starting up a, a, a new field. There's something right there. Look at that. There's an invisible something that's stuck. I don't know if it's something to do with the wall, uh, the, the road, or something like that. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. Uh, let's just get this all unfolded and ready to go. Unfold that one. And as soon as he's done unfolding... It's a beautiful roar as he starts up. It's fantastic. Right, let's just move on down into the field a little bit. Like that. And... I'm thinking I will actually go back up here and just cut across this bit just in case there's anything to do with a invisible wall on this side as well. So if I can remove everything there, that's the problem taken care of so we don't have to worry about more invisible walls. So if I bring that back down around there and go this way, hopefully it should now work. It's going to be the vehicle extension. And as we know, sometimes the vehicle extension can do some pretty peculiar things. Hopefully, it's going to be all right with this one. Uh, we'll come up to there and stop. And it should turn around and then it should go on with the rest of the field. Right, we're going to let that one carry on. And we want to get going on our potatoes. Now, we don't want that one. Um, I'm thinking maybe this tractor here would be the best one. However... The problem with this tractor is I don't think it has an option for uh, small wheels. It's not that one that we've got. Uh, Zeta 120 is the one that we've got. And it doesn't have an option for small wheels. You need small wheels for the machine that we want to use. And that Zeta there does have the options for small wheels. So I kind of want... And, and this one here, wide tire... Oh, it does. Ah, I do. Okay, so we can we'll use the the Deutz then. That's the one that we're going to have to use because we need to we need to switch over to narrow tires on this in order to get it to work properly. Uh, we don't want to be damaging the crop as we go over it. And this particular machine should do everything in a single pass. It should uh, harvest and like remove the tops. You don't actually have to worry about removing the tops as you go through and you use this one. So I will get this one up to the dealership and we'll get those wheels changed over um, and we'll also get the potato harvesting machine ready and then we can we can make a start. There's our combine working away on the field. It's actually doing a really good job. It has had no hitches or anything like that so far. It's going to finish that field in a minute and we do need to think about getting a tractor. We'll get the Ford up there with the trailer that we've got. Um, and that can be the one that will offload it. Although it's probably not going to do much in the way of trailer loads because we're harvesting all of the OSR at the moment, the canola. So we're not going to have to worry about that too much. So while you're here, I will get the potato harvesting equipment. It's this one. This is a Bulwer 2. Now, I've got this one and what I've done is I've included a link in the description down below. Um, it's not a... Um, 
easy to use link it might do some funny things to your game uh, and not to not to, not to your game it might try to throw up a load of extra pop-ups and stuff it's one of those um ones that i don't particularly like but i couldn't find anything else if someone has got any other link that is better than the one that i'm using then please get into the comment section and provide it because i don't really like the link that i've got but it's it looks like it's the original one um, I'm not 100% certain, but it does look like it's the original link. Um, and that's kind of, that's the important bit to me, is making sure that I do have the original one. Right, so we want narrow tires on there, customised for 1,600 euros. Yes, there we go. This thing with narrow tires does look very comical. It, it, it really does. Right. Um, we do want the front weight on this. Yep. You don't want masses of front weight on a machine like this. And that is... That's causing a lot of lag, and I'm hoping that it's not actually the uh, potato harvester. That's some serious... Oh, no, 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 hang on. Um, almost definitely, it will be the combine. The combine's turning. That's why we're getting lag. That's what we got to remember. Whenever you're using the combine and it's got the AI help on it, if it's doing something weird, it's almost certainly trying to turn. And that's the, the one thing you've got to remember with the, the combines is if they're doing something peculiar they're probably just trying to turn a corner so um actually we can let that one carry on yeah he's he's good for a minute so if we just quickly flick through and now we've got our game back and that's the one slightly frustrating thing about it especially with the really small fields that we've got here is that we do get these big lag spikes but there's not a lot that we can do about that so we just kind of put up with it and um move on right Put that one on there and that one on there. Let's lift that up. Now, I've no idea if this is going to work very well, but I've seen videos. No, 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 not video. Pictures. I've seen pictures. <laughs> I haven't even seen a video of this thing working. Um, I kind of... I know how it should work. I know the theory behind it. So I'm very curious to see how good it's going to actually be. I've sort of been looking forward to trying this for quite a long time. So let me just quickly go through to the combine here. We're going to go straight across the road into the next field and that one can carry on doing some more combining and then we will come back and we can go to our potatoes uh, let's just start that one up there we go get him going in that field there and I know this one's got the rake knives on both sides of the header I never actually used rake knives on two sides we only ever put one on and that was on that side not the other side because you generally combine with only one side in it's very it's not actually that often that you cut um moving a, a swath up through the field oops no i don't want h i want that one so that i can round this and yeah we so we didn't use uh two of them and i was quite pleased with that because they're very very heavy things those knives and lifting them up and getting them in place is quite a labor intensive job so i was always quite pleased that we only had one of them and we didn't have to worry about two per header because we did have two two combines right left control i is unload here now i think that you do actually accumulate some product with this and all you've got is you've got lower harvester and that's it it doesn't have well i don't think it does no it does have you, you must be able to switch it on um Yes, you can switch it on. Right, now what does it do? It does actually... Right, it doesn't look like it's actually dropping the potatoes down. And that's what it's supposed to do. So, you have to go to left control I. And that then should... There we go. Now it's working. It leaves the potatoes in a row on the field. Now, this is what I want to do. This machine is actually supposed to do this. It's supposed to leave the potatoes in a row on the field and the other one that we looked at previously that was the one that you go along afterwards and you pick the rows up now if you don't do the left control i i don't know what happens to the potatoes so that's something that we're going to try we're going to do one line up across the field there in a second we we'll just stop there and we'll raise it up like that and that is actually my timer to say that we've run out of time so what i'm going to do is in tomorrow's episode we're going to be doing this some more we want to come over here and I want to try to get lined up with the edge of the field. Now, I'm doing this really badly. Let's 
come over to here. It's still running, so we just lower it down. And I think the left control I is still on. So if I do left control I again, and I'll see how many potatoes it will accumulate. It, I don't know if it accumulates them or if it just or they just kind of vanish into the nether. So I, I said I'd do a full run. So we'll go right down to the end of the field, and then we'll let it turn. And I'm hoping that the hired help will be able to do a lot of this. So, yeah, we're definitely not harvesting any more than this field with this because this is a very small-scale, time-consuming sort of uh, approach to potato harvesting. So let's just stop there a minute, and then we will go... Um, I said left control I. I didn't actually use left control I. Oh, right. The potatoes have vanished. It would appear that you don't get to keep your potatoes if you do it like that you do have to have unloading to the ground active at all times and if you don't eh, you have problems so let's just lower that back down again and start heading back up across this field there it's dropping them to the ground now but it didn't previously so it does look like i mean maybe that heap of potatoes at the end was this full row but i very much doubt it it looks like unless you've got unloading to the ground actually going um it's not going to work you are going to lose your potatoes i like the idea of it though i really do I, I love the idea of being able to go through dig the potatoes and just leave them right flat on the deck um and people have been harvesting potatoes like this for a very long time there's uh, all kinds of horse-drawn implements i wasn't supposed to do that uh, there's all kinds of horse-drawn implements that do this exact same thing they just go along lift the potatoes and drop them onto the floor so let me just see if the hired help will work with this uh no okay so apparently you cannot use hired help with this at all and have i still got tipped to ground yes it is still tipping to the ground that's all right so we're going to have to do this manually, which is just great, because I didn't actually want to have to do this job manually. This is going to take a while. Um, so what we'll do is we'll come down to the end. We'll do another couple of passes on this end of the field, and then we will switch it round. Um, what we're also going to have to do is we're going to have to try... I want to turn really tight at the moment, just because I want to get another few runs down on this end of the field and i believe that these are the two that were made together i think these two are the ones that were made to actually work with each other uh, this one and the elevator type one that i showed you previously um that is the one that we're going to be looking at next and we'll do that in tomorrow's episode so yeah i've kind of run out of time now my uh, my question for this week is uh, which tractor would you like me to get and obviously we're doing a major upgrade on everything on the farm so we have the jcb fast track 8000 we have the deutz far series 9 we have the new holland t8 we have the Valtra S series and we have the Case Magnum CVX. It's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. I will pick, I, I will buy, take the two tractors that win that particular vote. Um, I think two would be better than one in this case. Um, it just just because i think it would sort of work out a bit better we we're still going to be doing uh things on this map where we want like a management type scale of things but we're just doing it with uh, bigger stuff everything is being upgraded this week i'd also like to hear your opinions on using the brux chipper the one where we just cut the trees and it instantly turns them into wood chips uh, on the, a lot of these trees in between the fields so that we can join a load of them together obviously we can't join all the fields together because of tracks and everything in between them but we are going to do our best we're going to get as many as we can all joined up um just let that one there for a second i want to flick over to the combine because he has wrapped himself around the garala train station by the look of it it's the the, the grain store actually isn't it right Move you on a little bit that way and then press H and you should be good to go. Right, I'll leave that one there. And get this one going again. Right, if I bring that one out round and drop it down 
here. So yeah, it is a bit of a shame that you can't have the hired help. And you've also got to remember that you must... Oops. Okay. Um, this machine actually does have crop destruction on it. So if you don't switch it on, when you've lowered it down, you'll just delete your potatoes <laughs> instead of anything else. Um, but yeah, you do have to have the tip anywhere active when you're using it. You can't use the hired help to do it. This is a long, slow process using this thing. And we'll do some more of this tomorrow, and then we're going to go and get the other machine and take a look at picking the potatoes up. We're probably not going to harvest all of this field. It's going to take far too long to harvest all of it, but we're going to have a good look at the stuff anyway. And um, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.